Hello everyone, it's me again, Emmy Wade Black Swan, and I'm back again with another wig review. This wig that I am showing you right now is from Superb Wigs. It's a 316 18-inch wig, lace wig, and I've been wearing her out. As y'all can see, the wig up close, the lace, and um, all the logistics of it is perfect. So... I'm going into this wig. This is the back part of the wig, by the way. So going into this wig, as soon as I took it out the box, I knew she was going to be one of my favorites. And um, I'll be able to do a couple of versatile looks with it. The only thing is that I, like I've said in plenty of my videos before, the nape of my neck is very narrow, so I can't put her up. But you do have that option if you do purchase the wig. My circumstance is a little unique because, you know, I have a big forehead and small nape. So the back of the wigs, even if I get them in the smallest cap size, they just don't fit like a glove. They don't fit good enough for me to um, do updos. So, but later on the wig, later on in the video, you'll, you'll see like the, um, the, the wig, the back part when I have it on and uh yeah but it's it's really really pretty so i'll just be showing y'all up close how i install this wig i have not been wearing her for or over a week and um basically what i do is i'll install it like you see and then as the week goes if she lifts i'll put out a little glue and then i'll lift up the back because i don't glue down the back and then i'll do i'll moisturize in between my um braids in between my corn rolls and keep it up like that um i did take her off once or twice just so i can do a little maintenance on my own personal hair just to make sure that my hair is still being cared for what you should do is because you wear a wig does not mean you should stop your own personal hair care the whole purpose of a wig is to protect your hair so yeah especially in this weird weather it's like hot and cold my hair dries up a whole lot so and then also i'm still transitioning to natural hair my natural hair is um i would say almost to my shoulders now if not to my shoulders and i still haven't done the big chop so i'm 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 scared y'all i'm scared so so far i have uh somebody helping me with washing and deconditioning the hair my own hair uh but yeah so whenever i'm ready to do that i'll make sure that i film it so anyway um using my spray i do put two layers of spray when i'm going to be wearing my wig like like for this amount of time i do use the gossipy spray and spray it down and then i make sure i blow dry it um if i'm wearing it temporarily i'll let it air dry but if it's going to be for a long amount of time i'll go ahead and um blow dry it just because for some reason the glue just sets the the spray the the gots to be free spray it just sets a little better when you do blow dry it i don't understand why but you'll see how the ball cap looks when it's when it's blow dried down because it like melts into my skin so um yeah just blow drying it um it, it makes a big difference so try that try that instead of letting it air dry or do vice versa just so you can see the difference and have your own opinion on that but that's just my personal opinion so also i use a makeup brush to um color the cap so it does blend into um my my own skin color i use a foundation brush that's already been used um prior just so i won't be clunking on foundation because i used to do that and then i would have foundation like in my hair no ma'am so i just i just use like an old brush or whatever and then i use the tiny scissors that you can get at the at the drugstore and then i start cutting the lace and when i'm cutting the lace i do start a little bit before my actual perimeter my actual hairline and then i start to um, get closer to my perimeter just so I can you know make sure I don't have any hair out but I can get as close to my hair as possible so it will be more convincing because I do not want any of my edges peeking through because I'm trying to preserve the edges so yeah and then you know you want to make sure that you get you see how I'm like kind of like um 
taking the the pieces of the stocking cap and and like poking it like you know like pulling it back more just so I can like get closer to my hairline so it does take a while to do this but when it's done properly you when you put your wig on it lays down so much better so you know you see on instagram all the girls and their wigs are like laid down like laid down it's because the foundation of you know whatever they have going on is perfected it's laid down the ball cap is amazing and when I tell you the ball cap method, it really does help. It does take time. A lot of people don't like to do it. A lot of people don't even want to put in the effort. But I'm telling you, it's going to upgrade your wig game. So it's kind of like putting on primer before your makeup. So you do kind of want to at least dabble in the field of creating a ball cap. If you are somebody who does want to have your wig looking a certain type of way or and or you just want to step your wig game up so it doesn't look so wiggy when you wear it out. So like if the wind blows <laughs> blows on you and you know your hair is you know peeking up, you don't want to be clocked. So yeah, I'm just doing that, taking it a little bit piece by piece, and then just making sure that I'm cutting as much of the wig that is um, kind of like shamming out as much as possible. So after I do that, I do put the wig on just to see if I have any. Uh, stocking or ball cap sticking out and that it is close to the hairline as possible so I go ahead and do that I didn't film me plucking the wig but I did pluck the perimeter a little bit so um it can just look a little more convincing because I didn't want the border to just look so thick you know I want to look mimic um a hairline as as much as possible so yeah I'm just measuring it out and then the pieces that I do see peek through that are not on the perimeter of the wig when I had it on I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off okay so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, adhere the wig to my head so doing that I am using um, a rat tail comb and I'll be putting a slightly generous amount of glue on the border of my head and spreading it out at least an inch to a half an inch upward towards the cap area. So yeah, doing that when you're actually laying down your, if, you're, if your wig is coming up as you're putting like your styling gel on, that means you probably didn't put enough glue on. Um, and then when you're putting it on, it's best to use like a finger or actual um you can use popsicle sticks because they sell them at like the craft stores and or like i'm doing right now whack tail comb just because when you're when you're dispersing this glue you want to make it as even as possible so when it's drying up you don't have any white clumps that dried up that are taking too long to dry so when you're putting your wig on you don't have any parts that are like wet still and then if you already if you put the wig on while you have big clumps of wet glue, that glue will stay white. It'll stay white. It'll be very clockable. And that part of the wig is just it's just not it's just it's just not gonna be cute. It's just a whole mess. You just create a whole mess. So there's like a little bit of a science to it, being able to time gluing the wig down, um Putting on the putting on the glue and gluing the wig down. There's like a slight science to it. You have to get your timing a little bit um, right. So you can wait till the till the glue is tacky. You can just touch it and just make sure it's like nice and it's not all the way dried up, but it's like tacky. So I'm cutting the back part of the wig while it's off of my head, and then I'm gonna be installing the extra adjustable strap that they did send me with the wig because they do have the pre-installation straps. Um, already installed into the wig so they have that down for me I did leave um, a little bit of lace in the front part just so I can make sure I cut around my ears properly because uh, this wig is something you know like you can like do braids in the front and stuff like that if you install it this this meticulously then your wig is going to be gorgeous gorgeous this company if you like straight hair that's like really laid, this is a really, really good company. 
um, to buy your straight hair from your straight, your straight, um, 360 lace wigs. They girl, like no shedding, very, very smooth. And they lay like butter. So I'm doing my second coat of the, of the ghost bond. In the second coat, it should go on very, very smooth. I did, I forgot that I did it. So like halfway ignore what I said earlier, but, um, I did do the second layer because as soon as I took the wig out of the box, I'm telling you, like, I knew I was going to be wearing her for a while. I knew that she was going to be my day one. So I'm doing the second layer and uh, just to make sure the wig is nice and secured. And then also it helps the ball cap melt into the your hairline. So I'm doing that. I can see the wig. I can see the glue starting to get transparent. So then I know, like, um, it's ready for me to lay down the actual wig. Now, initially, I did not um, pluck the 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 border, but I think that one of the days that I that I um, was doing maintenance, I plucked it. I didn't film it, so I think actually, like the next day, um, I took I took the wig off and then I plucked it. I believe so because like yeah, I'm going into like my not half a week. Like I think this is actually like two weeks now that I'm wearing her like this. So anyway. Um, so yeah, my, my time, my grasp of time, my concept of time is so thrown off. I do apologize. Having the baby and the kids doing the virtual learning, my days are completely meshed together. So that's why sometimes I sound a little jumbled when I'm explaining things. So cutting the back and then cutting the front as it's, um, as it's already glued down, it does help a whole lot. Um, around the ear portion because if you do want to put the wig behind your ear you do want to take your time and make sure everything is um, laying down properly so don't rush this part take your time make sure you have the right visual measurements of the wig and then you know then cut it properly use the right scissors too don't use big big bulky kitchen scissors Use the small scissors. Go ahead, spend the money, spend the $5, get you some small scissors, like the small nail scissors or the small eyeless scissors that you can get at the drugstore. Get those. I'm telling you, it's going to make a world of difference. So I have a cut. And as I'm cutting it, I you got to make sure that the hair is out of the way. So um, some people, they're a beast and they can like comb as they're pressing down the wig to the glue. And but I'm I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet, y'all. So um I'm still getting there, but I'm all right. I'm okay with it. Like I'm not a pro, but I'm okay with it. And then you know the parts that I wasn't able to get the the glue at, like especially around the ears, because you know the my sideburns on the wig it drops down a little lower than I anticipated. So you know I just go back. Um. And then just add, just tap a little glue in those parts. So, you know, you don't have any like extra lifting and stuff. So, yeah, make sure you have like some, some, some clamps and hairpins and stuff like that. So you can pull the hair back. So just so you can make sure that hairline is done properly. Take your time on the hairline and the rest of the wig is going to look amazing. So that's the only thing. I know a lot of us, we just want to slap it on, slap the wig on and stuff like that. But what's the point of you spending, you know, even over 80 bucks on a wig if you're just going to slap it on? You want the wig to look convincing. So go ahead, take the extra time, lay it down. It takes me about 30 minutes to actually do this whole process to make the wig cap and glue the wig down. So just taking the little extra 30 minutes out, it does help. Even even with the new baby and stuff, I can if I can find the time, especially with these two little other rascals that I got, if I could take the extra 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, mind you, the, the video is skipping because I do have somebody asking me, Mommy, can you pour me some cereal? Mommy, can you do this? Mommy, check my homework, all this kind of stuff. So, yeah, it you know, sometimes it takes balancing out, um, balancing your time. But, you know, you can do it. You can do it. It'll be worth it. So yeah, this is how the wig looks fully installed and now I'm just going to be further styling it and also 
training the part training because when I got the wig it was a middle part and um I love the middle part but sometimes my forehead just doesn't agree but I'll try the middle part later maybe maybe I need to like curl the wig a certain way or style it different just so it'll be more it won't let my forehead pop out so much so training the part you can do um a few ways you can do it you can put styling foam on the part that you want to train styling foam or wet it down with water and then put a wrap on you can do it like that and just have like the wrap on for like 30 40 minutes and then your part will be trained or you can do like i'm doing in this video and you can put a little spritz brush it through the hair brush it thoroughly through because you don't want the hair to get stiff and then use a hot comb to lay down the the border in the part that you want okay so basically you know just keep repeating keep um doing your methods of laying down your part and laying down your edges um just repeating it take your time don't burn yourself if you're using a hot comb like me um if you are using the styling mousse and a head wrap then um you know just let it sit for a while don't get impatient let it dry up first use a blow dryer let it dry up completely comb it through do it it do it like mm, whatever method you're using repeat it at least twice at least twice if you want your wig to lay down bone straight so for the rest of the time you're wearing your wig if you do this one time the rest of the time that you're reapplying your wig the wig is already trained so it's going to make the rest of the rest of the life of the wig um in between washes easier for you to put the wig on so this is how the wig looks like it's done honey huh me she's so mm, mm, yeah i told y'all i told y'all this wig was really cute this is really really cute i have no makeup on and i think i look good <laughs> so i'm gonna show y'all the back real quick i'm pinning the the wig up and i'm gonna show y'all the back and I do have the back of the wig taut as possible. So, and the comb is secured in the back of my comb rolls. Um, I do have my comb rolls tucked underneath themselves. So the comb can just lay flat when it's completely, um, you know, like clipped underneath the, the braid. So that's the back. And uh, there's just like a little bit of lace. It's not even like... It's not even like a centimeter of lace. It's a little bitty strip of lace that's there. And uh, so you do have pretty good options of wearing it up. And uh, I'm going to actually part it and show y'all how it looks if you do want to wear a little ponytail. You, it's, it's a 360. So the middle part, you will see the tracks. But the, the lace, you can have the lace uh, don't cut the lace as short as mine and then you'll be able to do the updos so um yeah the hair is really soft and silky i had no shedding honey none absolutely no shedding uh the wig is very nice so it did make the install go so much smoother i didn't have to bleach the knots and uh like it's like yeah look how cute this is like yeah, that's why I've been wearing it out so much. So yeah, I didn't too much. I didn't do too. I didn't go crazy on the baby hairs because if it's like I said, if it's a really good wig, you don't, you don't have to do much on the crazy hairs. Uh, on the baby crazy hairs, on the baby hairs because the you know the wig's free to itself. So yeah, that's gonna be the the end of this video. Thank y'all guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.